Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Michelle. I'm a radiation oncologist. I'm here today just to talk a little bit about uh, the role of radiation in rectal cancer. So radiation therapy is actually x-ray treatment. We're using high-dose x-rays to treat the rectal tumour. Most of the time this is in conjunction or as part of the treatment sequence uh, for the management of rectal cancer. So the aim of the radiotherapy is basically to shrink down the tumour such that it is smaller and it's easier for the surgeons to do a successful surgery, uh, ensuring that no uh, part of the tumour is left behind in the body. So radiotherapy is um, painless, okay? It is pretty much like going for an X-ray or a CT scan, so there's no feeling, there's no burning. There are some side effects, but they are usually mild. And these side effects can be things like diarrhoea, increase in urinary frequency, a bit of tiredness as well. However, like I mentioned, um, these are very tolerable for most patients. For some patients, uh, we also do give radiotherapy together with the chemotherapy. The chemotherapy acts as a radio sensitizer, and this just means that it allows the tumour to be more sensitive to the radiation that we're giving, such that the response is even better. The chemotherapy that is given with the radiotherapy is actually in a tablet form. So it is uh, also well tolerated by patients with minimal side effects. In general, for rectal cancer, we do employ chemotherapy, radiotherapy and surgery in different sequences, depending on the patient's stage of tumour and some of the other risk factors of the tumour. Therefore, there's no one-size-fits-all for our rectal cancer patients. Um, each patient has an individualised treatment plan. And this treatment plan is decided between the surgical oncologist, the medical oncologist, as well as the radiation oncologist. Uh, the three of us will come together to meet and discuss the patient's plan. And thereafter, once we have decided based on their specifics, uh, then we will proceed with that treatment plan for that patient. For colorectal cancer, there is screening that uh, is available for patients if they would like to uh, ensure that they do not have uh, colorectal cancer. So the test is um, basically called a fecal occult blood test and it's basically um, a simple test where you just need to take a stool sample, uh, put it into a bottle and send it off to the lab. Uh, within the lab, they will look at the stool sample to see if there are any traces of blood inside the stool. Um, and if there are, then you will be um, informed and called back for further investigation. However, if negative, then you can heave a sigh of relief. And this screening only needs to take place uh, once every uh, one to two years. Uh, depending of course whether or not you have symptoms. So if you are experiencing any of these symptoms um, and you are worried, please do seek uh, medical attention uh, with your nearest general practitioner uh, as soon as possible. Thank you.